Football Manager 2022 has some brilliant playmaking roles. You've got advanced playmaker, deep line playmaker, roaming playmaker. Let's have a look at them. Welcome in folks, welcome in. So far in this series we have covered the Mazala, the halfback and the different types of wingback and fullback roles. Today we're going to cover the playmakers. This can get confusing because there's that many types, not to mention the Registar, which we're not going to cover today because he probably deserves his own video. Today it's the deep line playmaker, the roaming playmaker and the advanced playmaker. If you're new here, please have a little look around the channel. There is loads on there, loads to come. If you like what you see, please consider dropping a sub. But until then, let's go and have a look at these playmakers. Okay, first up, let's do the basics like we always do. Let's discover the differences, the little nuances between the three different types we're focusing on today. We're not doing register, like I said, and we're not going to do the wide playmaker. They've got their own videos in the pipeline. For this video, I'm going to use Luis Alberto. We'll get to attributes later for playmakers, but here's a sneak preview for you. He is a fantastic playmaker in any of the roles. So the brief differences. So first up, Luis Alberto here is in the deep line playmaker role. So that does what it says in the tin, basically. He's going to sit a little bit deeper, orchestrating play from a deeper position, pinging balls left, pinging balls right, looking for overlaps from your wing backs. He's just going to sit, control the game from the middle of the park. He will get a little bit further forward now and again on a support duty. If you knock him to a defend duty, like we have done there, he will sit in the park even more so. Advanced playmaker, he does what he says in the tin. He's more advanced, so he's going to operate in this sort of square there. Higher up the park, dropping in between the opposition midfield and defence. So, gives him a bit of a problem for the defenders on the midfield on who's going to pick him up. He's going to play a little through balls, out wide, for your strikers, in that pocket, trying to find the gaps. Your midfielder's behind him, so your box-to-box -box midfielder in this case. Win the ball back, feed it to him, he'll start your movements off. And finally, your roaming playmaker. Very much like the complete wing back, the roaming playmaker is a hybrid of your deep line playmaker and your advanced playmaker. He will do exactly what he says. He'll roam. He can pick the ball up deep or he can pick the ball up higher up. He's going to find areas all over the place. So to play him in a two in midfield might be a bit risky because you're basically giving him license to go wherever he wants to affect the game. Looking for the ball. He can look for the ball off the wing back. He can look for the ball off a striker. He's everywhere. These three roles, although similar, are different in areas, specifically their positioning on the pitch and where they pick the ball up and where they try to affect the game. Three great players here, three different types of playmaker. Jorginho is a deep line playmaker, sitting deep for Chelsea, sometimes partnered by Conte, sometimes just playing by himself. Sits deep, starts the movements off. Bruno Fernandes, quite often playing that number 10 role, advanced playmaker, higher up the park, making things happen. Could also be an attacking midfielder, but can very definitely be an advanced playmaker. And Bernardo Silva, if you've seen my Man City Pep replication, you'll know. I think he's an absolute ideal roaming playmaker. Watch that man on the pitch. He is everywhere. Right, crew, what I'll do now is I'll play some games with Lazio and we'll use Luis Alberto in those three different roles and we'll see how his positioning and his play changes per role. In we go and we start with deep line playmaker. So who I want you to focus on is Luis Alberto. There he is, number 11. So he's a deep line playmaker. He's going to spend most of his time in this square here, in around this sort of area. This clip shows where he picks the ball up from. He wants to be the dominant force and start moves off. As we play it on, you can see the ball just up there. Playing it on, look at Luis Alberto drop deeper than all the other midfielders. So your back four is across there. Luis Alberto drops the deepest, saying to them, give me the ball, give me the ball. Play it on. Luis Alberto gets the ball, starts the movement off, Lazio go on the attack. This little period of play is really interesting. So you can see Luis Alberto there, the ball's on its way to the goalkeeper. As we play it on, keeper picks it up, Luis Alberto sits back, he's deeper than both wing backs, only the centre backs are behind him, he's waiting for the ball. The Cherby picks it up, he can't find Luis Alberto at this minute because he's marked by the striker. Play carries on, Luis Alberto still maintains that position, waiting for the ball from deep. Still going on. He still can't find it. He makes a little break to the side. Midfielder runner there, Basic. Has the ball, finds Luis Alberto. Now look what he does first time. He's got the skill, the vision and the passing ability to ping it over the top for Chiri Mobile to put it in. That in a nutshell is your deep line playmaker. He's going to drop deep, ask for the ball, start moves off. He'll either be short like the first clip or a killer ball like the second. As the linchpin of your team, your deep line playmaker is going to receive a lot of the ball. And you can see there, Luis Alberto 
9.2 rating and 11 key passes. Everything's going to go through him. This is backed up by the full-time stats. Have a little look at that. 76 passes completed with 10 key passes. And this is the big one. Three clear-cut chances created, all from deep line playmaker. Advanced playmaker and straight away, straight away you can see the differences. So we've just lost the ball at the top end of the pitch. The opposition goalkeeper's got the ball. Striker one, striker two. Who's next to them? Luis Alberto. And he's not playing in that number 10 role. His start position is here. There, right in the middle, advanced playmaker on attack. He's just going to spend a load of time up here in these areas. So the deeper midfielder's got the ball. And look at Luis Alberto in between the two strikers in that pocket, trying to find a pocket of space to affect the match. Ball goes wide to the wing back. There's Basic and there's Luis Alberto again, asking for the ball higher up the park. So unlike an attacking midfielder, an attacking midfielder at this point would be breaking an exit to get in the box. He's trying to affect the game in that sort of square there. So he's hovering. Here's a key difference between the deep line playmaker and the advanced playmaker. So we've got the ball back there. Remember, as a deep line playmaker, Luis Alberto dropped deeper than everyone else. You can see here, he's still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players behind him, but he still comes to get the ball, to offer himself, because he still wants to make things happen. The left back sees him, picks him out. Luis Alberto, a little dart there to make a little chink of space, picks the ball first, Thoughts are to turn and have a look. Now he's going to look for killer balls, even from that deep. He's got two strikers above him. His options here are play it wide, but if he's got the ability, he's going to look for that killer ball. Has a little look. Luis Alberto, what a ball through to Chirio Mobile. To zip. There's a key difference between the advanced and the deep line playmaker. Your advanced will still come offer him for the ball, but he'll want it higher up so he can make an instant impact rather than coming really deep to get the ball. You can see how more aggressive he is by his average positions on the pitch. There's his overall position, so it's over the halfway line. Even without the ball, he's still over the halfway line. When you've got the ball, he's that little bit more aggressive. So he's a lot more further up than your D-line playmaker who would be back here. And finally, it's the roaming playmaker. That's the setup we're using our roaming playmaker in, so we can affect the game all over the pitch. Remember what I said about the roaming playmaker role? It's like a hybrid of the two. So not only is he going to start deep like he is there, he's also going to get forward as well. So it's more of an aggressive role in a way because he's going to be all over the place. He wants to be the central of everything. Let's have a look here. So Lazio don't have the ball at the minute. Playing it on. He sits in that deep line playmaker role at the minute. When we win it back, I want you to keep your eyes on Luis Alberto here. So he was sat in the deep line playmaker role, but we've won it back now. What's happening? We move forward. Look at him. Bang. Moving right up into that advanced playmaker role. Deep line playmaker, he would be a bit more reserved. Sit a little bit more there, but he's moved from the deep line playmaker role initially in defence into the advanced playmaker role into attack. He stays right on the edge of the box there, waiting for the ball, gets it and gets a shot away. Doing both roles again in this clip. So as we get the ball here, look at him as a deep line playmaker, trying to find space to get the ball. He's marked, he can't quite get the ball yet. Finally gets the ball, has a look up, doesn't see anything, plays a simple ball, makes a movement, gets a bit of space. Now we can turn, now we can have a look. Acting like an advanced playmaker, a little bit further forward, a bit more of an iron a killer ball, pings it over the top to your more player who has a great chance. And not only that, he follows the player up. A deep line playmaker, after playing that ball, would still sit here, but as Luis Alberto, as a Roma, wanting to be involved in the game, he's on his way towards the box. Basically, where the ball goes, he goes, and he wants to be involved. Believe it or not, I feel he's a more aggressive version than your advanced playmaker. So you need to be wary of that when you're hooking up players next to him. For example, that there is his position without the ball. So he's way over the halfway line. Way over. With the ball, look how advanced he is even more. Leading to his average possession overall being somewhere in the middle. So it's the most aggressive of the three playmakers. The caveat to that is, of course, you can play an advanced playmaker out wide, high up, or you can play him in the number 10 role, which means he will be higher up than the Roman playmaker. But from a standard midfield position, your Roman playmaker wants to get involved in everything, therefore he's going to be more aggressive. What formations work well with these roles? Well, a lot of formations have, if not need, a playmaker involved somewhere. So you can pretty much use any formation. But here's some of the layouts and formations I like to use for the different ones. 4-3-1-2 narrow. This one for me is perfect for a deep line playmaker. He holds it all together and links everything up. Quite often dropping into this position, allowing wing backs to bomb forward, basically playing like that. He picks the ball up from the two centre backs and he's got the option then of finding wing back, wing back or laying it forward for one of these players. 
4-3-2-1. Super aggressive tactic. A deep line playmaker will again have the duty of holding his position in there while everyone else attacks. He's going to have targets to hit. He's going to have two inside forwards to hit or wingers, what, depending on what you use. Advanced forward, shadow strikers, wing backs. He's the man holding it all together again. Less aggressive, 4 3 3. So he sits a little bit deeper in this one, a little bit deeper, affecting the role from a deeper position. He'll rarely venture up here. He will sit, concentrating on just playing the ball simply to the wing backs or if he has space and time to find inside forwards or inside wingers. How about the advanced playmaker? In a 4 2 3 1, we can pop him in the number 10 position, meaning he's got less defensive responsibility and he can solely focus on supplying chances. Slightly more defensive, but still holding his position there. A 4 4 1 1 in behind one striker. Or how about a free the back system where he's got all this protection behind him? He can bang him on attack, starting from a little deeper perhaps. Like I said, these roles can pretty much go into any formation you like. Roman playmaker now. Again, he will work great in a free the back system with covering midfield because, as we just saw, he will be going absolutely everywhere. Great system to use him in. Similar theory for a 4-3-3, he's got nice protection behind him, he can just roam, do what he wants and help these two boys supplying the main striker. Now I don't know if you noticed in those samples, but I rarely have a playmaker who's an advanced or roaming in a midfield too, purely because they may get a bit overexposed. One more thing, absolutely nothing wrong with experimenting and playing more than one type of playmaker in a side. We saw the differences that you can have. A deep line playmaker will control the back, end of the pitch your advanced playmaker will control the top end of the pitch so you can definitely definitely use both what we're we looking for in our complete playmaker who can play all the roles we've used him the whole game let's have a look at Luis alberto here is Luis alberto's profile currently highlighted is his advanced playmaker attributes and you can see they are all beautiful in green all above 15 this guy is fantastic so an advanced playmaker is going to try to affect the game higher up the pitch, which will lead to dribbling, passing, technique, no doubt. Obviously flair, decision making for those killer balls. Vision, teamwork comes into it because after all, he is still a midfielder. Now if we drop this to deep line playmaker, you can see the attributes slightly change. There's a less emphasis on flair because he's going to be operating deeper in the middle of the pack. And dribbling also is not required as much. It's more of a solid role. Interestingly, if you do drop into a deep line playmaker, on defence, you'll notice tackling does come into play and positioning. So on this occasion, perhaps Luis Alberto is not the right man for that role. But if he's going to be on support, meaning he gets a little bit further further forward, he's brilliant at it. And the final one is Roman Playmaker selected there. Into this becomes long shots. You'll notice long shots are not selected as part of your advanced playmaker. This is because I do believe, and I think this backs it up, that your Roman Playmaker is more aggressive. Long shots will come into play, so you will get more into these areas, and when he does, he will look to finish as well. Basically, if you find yourself with a guy who can play roaming playmaker, he can play all of the roles. The only thing you need to be slightly aware of is if you plan on playing a defensive playmaker, you might need some defensive attributes as well, such as tackling and some more defensive-minded attributes. But if he's more a player you want to affect the game going forward, Luis Alberto is your prototype. That's a wrap on the free playmakers. It's a slightly longer one because we had loads to cover there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions at all, please bang them down below. There'll be more coming soon.